Hey guys, just a little update. So I'm um, I'm gonna be posting a video up after this um, for the LMS UK group. Uh, I woke up this morning. You're probably all gonna see this in the next video. So if you're watching this one first, the next with introductions, pretty bollocks, pretty much the same. Um, yesterday I had chemo, as you've all seen in the last video, which I posted not long ago. Uh, that was eventful, but. We did it, we got there, um, I've now had my first proper two infusions of the first cycle, you want to call it, or first infusion, you know, it's two drugs in two separate times. Gemtax for, for LMS, liver, lungs and lymph node. Um, I will go through it quickly again, is that uh, originally I was told I had a 68 mil tumour in my liver, it spread to my lungs and some lymph nodes, or lymph node or something or other. Um, told it was incurable, which we, we, the guys who know about LMS know there's no actual cure for it, even though, whatever. Um, I was given 12 months to live, that was coming to a year and a half ago, a year and four months, something like that. Um, a few weeks or maybe a month ago, I was given months to live. They uh, now expect less than, well, between four and six is what we've been basing it on. We haven't really got a figure. Um, although... I agree with a lot of you that are saying don't take um, a doctor's life expectancy or whatever because everyone's fucking different and you're absolutely fucking right because so far I don't think I know I mean I don't like to blow my own trumpet I don't know any other cancer patient that will do half the shit that I've done if you want to know what I'm talking about go through back all through my videos Instagram I will not be defeated Facebook my name's Luke Goodwin um, on here if you go back through push-ups and fucking falling off quads and doing flips on the fucking beach and shit in Skegness and whatever else I've fucking done throughout this journey. Um, I will not be defeated. You're right. So, um, yeah, yesterday, the lovely, lovely, lovely nurse, uh, two of them actually, um, from Castle Hill Hull Hospital, the, uh, the, the cancer place unit, whatever you want to call it, Queen's I think it is, um, she, the, the nurse, um, because I, I, I went in and I really did, my head just fucking popped. I'd been psyching myself up all morning, even though I'd been feeling shit um, in preparation for this, for this uh, two drugs together, uh, gem, gem tax together. Um, so um, I got to the, 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 the doors and went in, walked sort of up to, to, to reception. I mean, the chemo was right at the very back of the hospital. Uh, and instantly I, I was like, I can't do it, I can't do it. So I went back outside and I sat on a little stone bench fucking thing about there. Um, to which obviously mum and dad were me, you know, a bit of support on that because at home with the kids. Um, I sat in the car and I just, my head just fucking went. I was like, I pulled my hood up on my, on my coat, I fucking, my hands on my look, look, I was like a little kid, like a little kid. It's embarrassing to say, but, you know, when... Man, you had goes. You it don't matter if you're a fucking a seventy-year-old fucking bloke or woman or whether you're a fucking young kid. As much as I hate to say that, we still fall into the same sort of um, mental uh, breakdown effect. Anyway, long story short, this my mum clears off. I don't know where the fuck she went, and I look up. Um, and my mum's coming over with this fucking nice. I'm like, oh my god, so. I did the window up, I locked the fucking doors, like an absolute child. It's quite embarrassing, but I want to share this because it's part of my story, and, you know, some of you might relate to this, and it might give you comfort in, in, in that. Um, so, yeah, this this nurse, I didn't even probably, I'll just see it was a nurse, I didn't even look at her. Um, I'm sitting at the passenger side of my dad's car. Um, back door opens, and I feel someone get in. Um, she goes, hey, hello, you know, this, that, the other, and I'm like, oh, God. I'm just going, fuck off, just, just go away, fuck off, I can't do it. Quite, quite harsh. Um, and she was talking to me, and and, and and after about a few minutes, maybe five minutes or so, she was like a nigger. Felt like she was, she was a negotiator. You know, these people that, that are really good at talking. Although she might, I don't know. Lovely woman, I can't remember her name. I will find out, and I will try and you know whatever. Uh, but um, yeah, she she spoke to me, and eventually she started getting words out of me, and I, and I took my hood down, and, and I looked at her. Um, to which she sort of said to me, well, where you at, Luke? Where you at? What, what's, what's going on? You know, why don't, 
why don't you want to come in and I'd explain look the pain's fucking unreal chemo itself isn't good because I've been slipping with my oils um, I'm feeling a lot more and it's my own fucking fault it is my own fault but when you're in that much pain a lot of you guys could probably understand that um, going for more meds and trying to keep a mental good state to be as good as you can to help this it's like it's like a circle and once you break one point you've got a fucking triangle and it, and it just doesn't work it just it just doesn't work anyway so um yeah she 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 sort of said where are you and i was like i'm on the edge of i've come this far and i had every intention of going in there and smashing it like you see on my videos that i've posted before um of doing this and, and fucking just whether i beat it or not you know whatever i'm gonna give it the fucking fight of its life <clears throat> so she went to me come on man you know let's, let's just fucking let's just let's just get it done with and it was at that point you know something clicked in me and this i was like she's right I, I need to fucking kick out of this i mean it's all right people saying to me think about your kids think about this think about the other when you're in a fucking state like this i tell you now unless you're a cancer patient going through it whether you're a man or woman or whatever you are it doesn't matter um the last thing that you want to think about is is those close to you because it, it ultimately fucking breaks you now that's what my family have been trying to do of course in a nice way to try and influence me and, and push me to do what they see right and only you know what's right for you and because of the way that this nurse was talking to me like i said we went in and i had it done it wasn't the nicest fucking thing in the world and to be fair last night i felt a bit crap but well, um, like I said, I've got I've been awake at four this morning with with backache. It's, it's it's like a common fucking side effect with this uh, jambazoline or whatever the fuck it is, and the, and the tax that I had as well. Um, so I've been I've been up at four o'clock this morning. I've been tossing and turning for about an hour. And I, like I said, I've been invited to this LMS group to to give some of my med information and bits and bobs and what I'm doing. Now I'm this lady. Uh, just just come down here. It's five o'clock now. So it's, like I said, an hour. I've been fucking tossing and turning. I'm just doing this video quick before I do all my fucking meds for, for this LMS group, which will also be posted shortly after this video. Um, and yeah, this, this is basically just an update because I, at the moment I feel quite, quite good considering I had a bit of uh, back pain and, and, and I've had uh, chemo, like I said, no, no, more, no less or no more than 12 hours ago. Um, that aside, I don't really know what else to, to, to say because I mean the comments I'm getting off you guys are fucking lovely please um, keep them coming I do read them all when I get time I, sometimes I can't reply to them all because of I'm shit I really am shit but um, yeah so um, I'm probably going to leave this here for the time being until I know more about how I feel and what's going on um, but generally that's, that's fucking that and it's just a bit of a boring video this one so um yeah <laughs> fuck it i will not be defeated can't you can suck my fucking dick <laughs> <laughs>